Hello and welcome to today. We once again start our day in the kitchen. Today I'm cheating and using this scone mix that Ralph randomly got and it's actually really really good. I'm super excited because today is the first day of October which is probably my favorite month. I think I say that like pretty much every month of the year that I'm currently in except for February. A year ago today Nash and I left Seattle on our seven month trip and then in a couple days we'll leave for far less long of a time. I'm pretty sad that we're gonna be missing Halloween this year. We're we gonna eat today. I only like to watch horror movies in October. It's like oh it's this time of year it's the horror time of year and then we can let our imaginations run wild with gore. We But yes, we should celebrate today. Oh my god! Crumbly's in the bowl, and uh -huh. they don't want to join. <laughs> to merge with the merge with the lump of dough. I'm getting... Oh, it did it! It did it one time. I don't even know what I'm looking for. That. That. <laughs> I should have stopped that before I pulled them out. <laughs> nope. A semantic argument is one thing. An argument where you have somebody who fail, who just refuses to stipulate a working definition. Now that is what bugs me. So it's the time of year where the Pumpkin Clan is relevant. Everyone who comes in here in October is always like, oh my god, you decorated for Halloween! And they don't realize that these guys have been here for like two years straight. This is Squashy. This is Ernesto. This is Jed. This is the guy whose name we always forget, and so I had to write it down and just looked it up now, and his name is Norman. <laughs> this is Tyler, the leader of the Pumpkies clan. This is Wallace, the honorary Pumpkie. This is my favorite, Biscuit. He is sadly missing an eye, but he still has a really spunky spirit. This is Mushnuts. He's kind of weird. This is Sam. He's the friendliest. Um, this is Carl. He is the hardest. He's not very cuddly. And this is Crazy Captain Jack and his friend Squirmy. Nash went back to bed. I think he's feeling a little sad. so. Try to see what kind of fall colors are showing now. Most of the trees are still green, but this one's like, nope, I'm ready for fall. Apparently these guys are just all around confused about what season it's supposed to be, but the bees are loving it. This is Digipen. It's a really popular college for people who want to work in video games. Pretty quiet on a Sunday, but what I'm interested in is behind the campus. It's a path into the woods. I almost stepped on him. He's amazing. He ran into the pine cone. Now he's all scrunching up. What are you gonna do about this pine cone anyway? So what I love about living here is just there are trees everywhere. Um, this isn't a park or anything. It's just a little bit of wilderness and there's all these trails that go through here. Boing. Check out what I found. I was about to swing on this and I freaked out because I thought it was like a big old bug inside, but it's a, it's just a dinosaur. Okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> I'm free. 
It is really hard to get off that thing. I'm reading the Tibetan yogas of dream and sleep right now. Um, I used to be really into lucid dreaming and got this book a long time ago, but never read it. Moldy dog poop. Ew. I like when it's so quiet, you can hear all the leaves slithering over the ground. I brought the camera along and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna vlog in public, it'll be great. And anytime there's anyone within potential earshot, I can't do it. What the heck? I don't know if you can see this, but there's a shopping cart in the river. This summer they turned this old railroad trestle into a pedestrian bridge and it's pretty sweet. Nash is very sad. Oh, oh my god, are you really stuck? Yeah. Okay, here, I'm gonna help you. Hey. Here, grab my hand with the other one. Grab the balcony with that one. The railing. Right, come on, sit up. Engage your core. <laughs> okay, you're just kind of turning around. <laughs> what do we do if I eat the sausage? If we see it, you have to eat it at it. I have to smuggle the soft, the horrible tasting sausage into it to eat it? Yeah. <laughs> that really sounds terrible. I would rather not see it and not eat the sausage. If we say you have to eat the sausage, but you can eat it with water. It's very rare that I just hate a food and I hate this fake sausage. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna throw up just looking at it. Just the sight of the sausage. Just the sight of the sausage with its like fake casing thing peeling off. Want a bite of this? I'm okay. Do I have to eat it cold? Yes. You have to eat the sausage cold. <laughs> you have to eat the sausage. <laughs> no way you would eat it. Will you pay for my movie? No. Bye, Nash. What are you doing? Are you just calling it? How are you doing this? Because I am alternate control. I'm the elixir now. We're having a scary night and eating in the dark. It all goes quick for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. Woo. Oh. You can do it. My arm is getting tired. I am an owl. This is Chef Moerni. Yeah. Howdy children, I made Ravioline again. Now let's take it into the blanket fort. It looks kind of actually pretty eerie to walk around with just a little spotlight. <laughs> Where are we supposed to wear <laughs> <laughs> on the fireplace stones. On the fireplace stones. <laughs> on the what? fireplace stones. Did you create a little druid site here. Why <laughs> put the popcorn on the fireplace stones as an offering to the fire? To the fire gods. All right, let's find our movie. It does look like a shrine for fire. Oh, oh, they're back. The oh, room. better, better go in that room. I she shouldn't dig up the grave. Oh, did they just pack the, all of this movie in the last ten minutes? Oh, oh 